Hey everybody, today we're out at the South Hills Village Mall after attending a card show and I decided to stop by Lids just to see what boxes they had in. I wanted to see what their price was on 2024 Tops Hobby Boxes. They had a bunch of 2024 products on the shelves, fat packs, hanger boxes, blaster boxes, amongst some stuff from last year. And the Hobby Boxes were $95 per box. And he said, you know what? We've also got these huge super boxes and I've been looking for these for some time. They had a bunch of them there. I said, I'll buy two of those. So we're gonna check these out and see what we can find in these super boxes and see if they're any good. Thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button. Now let's open them up. All right, everybody, here it is, the super box. Finally, I got my hands on it. I've been waiting for this, I feel like for three weeks now. I think it supposedly came out March 2nd and I've been checking Walmart every weekend expecting this to pop up and it's never been there. So I just actually pretty much gave up on it. I was like, I guess I'm not going to do the Super Boxes this year. But we were out at a card show today. It was the Castle Shannon show. We spent a couple hours there. And then afterwards, we went out, uh, took Sophie out to the mall to get her a new outfit. I mean, that's only fair, right? She waited around for me to look at cards for a couple hours. So I figured, go look at some clothes for you. And I was like, wait a minute. Let's check in this lids real quick just to see what they have. Because I am in need of a couple of hobby boxes. I didn't feel like paying $95 for a hobby box. I was hoping to get it for a little bit less. So I just wanted to go and see what the price was. And then he said, wait a minute, we've got some super boxes in the back too. You might be interested in those. And I said, yeah, I'll take two of them. So we're going to open two super boxes in this video. Both of these boxes are going to be for our Patreon member, Brad Worley. If you'd like to be a Patreon member and get into all of our breaks, and we've got a big break tomorrow... Tomorrow, we have, hopefully, if it comes in, Big League. 2024 Big League is coming out on Wednesday, but a lot of days, the cases will come in a day early. So if I have it early, we'll be breaking 2024 Big League. Looking for the Jabs Family Influencer card. We have a $1,000 bounty to the first person that pulls it in one of my breaks. So if you'd like to participate in that, those are filling right now. We have other rounds in addition to big league we've got bowman inception we've got mixer rounds we've got signature series we've got a top series one mixer a whole bunch of stuff it's all on patreon if you'd like to participate we'd love to have you along and also we have another whatnot wednesday coming up this wednesday ten dollars off with whatnot's money they will give you 10 bucks if you sign up all you have to do is sign up and ten dollars off your first purchase and i've got stuff in my marketplace that is ten dollars which will be free to you all you'd have to pay is the shipping then so anyway, let's get into this for Brad. Thanks, everybody, for joining us here on this Sunday evening. Tomorrow we'll have, looks like a Mystery Box Monday for you. We have a card show recap video coming for you as well. And the Bowman Inception video. It'll be here at some point. Still waiting on those cases. Maybe tomorrow will be the day that Bowman Inception finally comes in. Like I said before, I ordered seven cases of it, and I can't wait for it to pop in pop up here we'll see all right so here's what you got in the super box we've done these a couple times before they had the super boxes last year for series one they also had the celebration of decade or not celebration of decades but i don't know what it was well, celebration of something it was just basically a super box from costco but inside you're going to get a grand total of 10 packs of 2024 tops last year they were glued like an accordion, and they are glued like an accordion again. Kind of kind of a little bit annoying, but uh, we'll see what we can find in here. In addition to the 10 packs, which is usually what most people are after, some baseball cards. There's also a foil board pack, which is pretty cool. You get some good stuff in there. They're parallels. They're pretty sweet looking. You get a companion card with an alternate photo here. This one is going to be Ronald Acuna Jr.'s. It just kind of slipped out there. Ronald Acuna Jr., there's the back of the card. And last but not least, you get a collectible pin. All of that for $40. And then, of course, whatever your tax is in your state. So let's go ahead and check these out and see what we can find. We've got two of these super boxes. And if you've been looking for them and have not been able to find them, try lids. They keep them in the back. So I'm guessing that most lids probably don't even have them out. So people probably aren't even buying them. So if you're looking for a super box, you've not been able to find one at Walmart like myself, check out lids. And then they also have hobby boxes there. The price on those are 95. I didn't buy them because my store, my local 
my card store here has them for 90. So, I was, and also I live in a lower tax county, so I just figured I'll just save a little bit on taxes and I'll probably all together save I don't know maybe like six bucks by buying it out here. But here we go. Let's see what we can find in our super box. This is a retail product, so you're going to see stars of MLB popping up again. And I'm kind of curious to see, you know, there's going to be many parallels and any numbered cards. And look at that. We've got, speaking of parallels, we've got a good one. These are tough to find. Vintage stock, Connor Joe right there. Very nice. We'll get that sleeved up along with your Ronald Acuna Jr., Jacob deGrom, Royal Blue. Toss that one in the sleeve as well. Picked up some good stuff at the card show today. Some of it I'll be auctioning off tonight in our auction. If you'd like to join us for that, I'm going to film that video right now, the recap video, so that I can auction that stuff. You'll see everything that I picked up either tonight in the live stream or in the upcoming pickup video. I always like doing card show videos. The one we went to today, 140 tables. They actually had to get a second building because there was so many dealers. Christian and Carnacio and Strand, you saw right there. That's a decent rookie card. It was a foil. And we'll see what else we've got. Justin Steele. And here comes a Justin Verlander. By the way, I don't know what, what you're going to say the best deal that I got of the day was, but I got to go back and double check. But I'm pretty sure that I got a Justin Verlander rookie card for $3 today. I, I was like, holy crap. That's a good one. I'll show you everything again. I don't know when I'm going to upload it. I'll film it tonight, and then I'll upload the card show pickup video maybe Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know. We'll see. We have a big league preview video, which will be ripping big league, of course, which will be really fun with the uh, short print influencer cards in there. Chance of autographs being one in every few boxes or so. First, Yoshinobu Yamamoto, rookie card. Shohei Otani, rookie. And by the way, speaking of Otani, saw a lot of his cards on sale today, and they were not selling very well. Uh, talking to a couple dealers, they said they'll buy Otani right now, but they're paying 25% comps for Otani because there's a lot of hesitancy over Otani, and you know me, every time I come back from a card show, I always have a nice little stack of Otanis that I'm showing off. I only bought one today, and I bought it for $5, so I was, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a little bit nervous about it as well, like most other Otani collectors are. We'll see what happens, though. So in this first super box so far, nothing too crazy, nice Christian Encarnacion foil, a royal blue, but really not a whole lot going on with these packs. And there's Gabriel Moreno. So we've got a couple numbered cards. Not too bad right there. Gabriel Moreno, gold numbered. We also had Connor Joe numbered. We'll take those. Always like numbered cards because that's where you're going to get your value if you can hit a nice top five rookie card. Saw Evan Carter in there. We'd love to find him. Let's see what this pin is all about. Working with a brand new box cutter, by the way, so I've got to be extra careful. All right, and this is going to be a... These are kind of cool. It's a kind of like a facsimile 2024 Topps card, Bryce Harper. So we'll put that over there with Brad's stuff. Let's check out the foil board pack. Let's see what we've got in there. Bruce Star Gratterall. I can't wait to see these cards in Chrome. These are going to look so good in Chrome. Nate... Evoldi, Jose Ferrer, Mickey Moniak, and Walker Buehler. So, unfortunately, no top rookies in that pack. And the big 5x7 card here, it's going to be Nolan Arenado. I don't know what you would do with these. I used to think oversized cards were so cool when I was a kid. The Master Photo cards from Stadium Club, for example. But I don't know what to do with these. There's, just for comparison, size comparison and perspective, there's the Gratterall. I don't know. Maybe put them in a frame. What do you do with these? I know some of you guys are buying these super boxes, and you probably have a few of these laying around. What uh, what are you doing with your oversized cards? You just sell them? I have no idea. But people like them. Here we go with our second super box. Both of these boxes are going to Brad Worley. So good luck, Brad, in box number two. Let's see if I can... 
get this out of here without knocking the camera over. All right, so there we go. Lay that down. Lots of packaging with these things. Remember, I bought a whole bunch of these for a break. I don't know how many boxes were in around 20 boxes around or something like that. Maybe it was 10, I can't remember, but I just remember there's so much trash afterwards from all of these plastic trays. Uh, let's get everything out of the, the plastic tray here. And this time be extra careful with this oversized card because the companion card's in there as well. All right, here we go. Let's open up the packs. The very gluey packs, all glued together like an accordion. I don't know what the chances are of finding a hit in these are. I would guess that it's... I don't even know if these would be the same as a blaster box because the blaster packs have those spring parallels in there. These don't have those, so... This would probably be about the same odds as the packs that you would find in maybe a retail box. Just a regular retail box, I'm guessing. 14-card retail packs. So here we go. We've got Ellie De La Cruz. I picked this card up today. I paid $2 for it. When this product first dropped, people were paying about $20 plus for an Ellie De La Cruz base rookie card. Now they're down to two. I grabbed one today. I grabbed a Dominguez as well at the card show see when the next big card show is. I think there's one maybe in mid-April. It's a mall show. The next big, big one is at the very beginning of May. It's a 500-table show, which is about a third the size of a national, which it's huge. It's Ellie De La Cruz. It's going to be May 3rd and 4th, I believe, in Washington Crown Center. All right, there's Vladdy, Vladimir Guerrero. That's a chrome card. Ellie Harris Montero right there. Can you believe the start of the baseball season happens this week? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be on my MLB. I always want to call it MLB at bat app because it used to be called that. I'm gonna be on the MLB app all the time. Looking at all the box scores. Can't wait. I love it. Love looking at box scores. That's one of my favorite things to do. Ever since I was a kid, first getting into baseball, every single morning, the paper would come in sit there with my cereal at breakfast, read through all the box scores, line by line, look at how every player did, look at the text at the bottom, see who hit home runs, man, the box score is such a beautiful thing, I'm trying to figure out when my first baseball game is going to be of the season, and I'm flirting with the idea of making a comeback. And actually playing baseball again. There's an over 40 baseball league. I think it might actually be softball. I saw it posted here in a group discussion in my area about a week or two ago. I have to go and see if I missed the signups. But I might uh, I might think about making a comeback and playing ball again for the first time since being a teenager. I mean, I've still played throughout the last 20 years off and on. Throwing a lot of batting practice to kiddos. And a lot of times just going out and just hitting on my own just for fun. That would be kind of cool to make a comeback and just play again. There's Henry Davis. A rookie card. Shohei Otani. And I was explaining to Sophia, because I'd like to teach her how to play baseball. I was explaining to her. I was telling her I've got a nasty knuckleball. And I told her, I throw the ball, but it doesn't spin. And she thinks that it is physically impossible. She, she's like, I got to see it. I don't believe you. So I can't wait to dust off the old knuckleball with her and uh, have her pitch me some batting practice, teach her how to throw, and all that good stuff. So I'm super excited for spring. We're supposed to have some good weather coming in here this week in the 60s all week long, so I might have to get out the baseball stuff. Here we have our foil pack. This is one of the draws of this product, and looks like, unfortunately, we just didn't get any good rookies in any of our foil packs. At least I should say... Brad didn't. Brad's getting all these cards. By the way, again, thanks, Brad, for sponsoring this video. Really appreciate it. We have Bowman Inception preview spots available if you'd like those. And here we go. The little pin there. It's going to be a Vladdy. 2024 Tops Vlad pin to go along with the Bryce Harper. And to wrap this one up, we've got our companion card and box topper. It's going to be J-Rod, Julio Rodriguez, 
Nice little alternate photo right there. J-Rod getting all pumped up. And a Bryce Harper. There's the back of the Bryce Harper card. So some cool stuff right there with the super boxes. Again, it's only $40, which isn't terrible. You get some extra little goodies there, like the oversized box topper, the pin, the, the silver foil board cards are pretty nice. So overall, I think it's uh I think it's all right. I, I don't know if I'm I'm crazy crazy about them that I would go and buy a whole bunch of them, but they're definitely fun to open maybe once or twice per release cycle for sure. So thank you very much for watching everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We've got some great videos for you this week. Big leagues coming out this week and we're going to go after it big time. I've got a whole bunch of cases coming. I cannot wait to open a whole bunch of that. If you want to participate and get your name into all the breaks for big league, we've got multiple rounds. You can get in all the rounds that you want. We're selling those on Patreon if you'd like to sign up. And uh, so thanks very much. Have a great rest of your Sunday night. Hope you had a great weekend and I'll see you all tomorrow or I'll see you in the live stream auction tonight. Good night, everybody.